welcome back to our paper we are answering question two it's uh 2018 june paper two okay for combined science uh, i'm going to to answer all these questions as if i'm just writing uh, uh the paper myself and then i'll explain to you afterwards okay so enjoy the music So that's just about it for, for question two, okay? So I'm going to explain to you some of the aspects uh, that I've written here. So you're asked to state any one natural method of contraception. So natural method, it's uh, essentially any method that doesn't involve um, a change in your body chemistry, okay? So uh, you're, you're asked to, to state any one natural method of contraception. So natural methods are methods that do not change your body chemistry. They don't have, they, there are no drugs uh, involved. So as opposed to uh, this hormonal therapy here, uh, the pill, okay? So it actually changes your body chemistry in some way. But then natural methods, it's just natural. You're just um, uh, uh, taking advantage of, of uh, certain phenomena or certain changes that are quite predictable in your body, okay? So the first uh, method that we uh, can cite here, so you can, mention any one of these. So the first one, it's, it's rhythm method. So rhythm method, it's also called the calendar method. So uh, what happens is you study your, your menstrual cycle. You know, right now, there are actually uh, applications for this, okay? So mobile applications where you have to put in the information, uh, you have to put in information for about 12 previous uh, menstrual cycles. And then when you put in that information, the algorithm can actually tell to say, okay, this is likely where you are, where you're going to uh, get to you, your menstruation, and then this is likely the safe days. And you can actually just have sexual intercourse only on the safe days. So that's the calendar method. So the, the disadvantage is that it's, it's really, really unreliable. You actually have to um, invest a great deal into your, your information. So uh, gathering your information about um, you, you miss your cycle for 12 months. It's, it's not um, an easy job. Okay, so that's the disadvantage uh, The advantage is that it's 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 reliable in some sense if you follow the uh, 12 previous um, menstrual cycle rule uh, It's quite 80 percent, which is quite something. Okay, and you can also use it uh, With other method of contraception as well. So the second method it's called the, the basal body uh, temperature method so what we discovered was um, women usually, uh, when you are just about to ovulate, so ovulation, that's what you want to watch out for. So ovulation is when uh, a egg is, is released into the fallopian tube. Uh, the body system of a woman is actually preparing to get pregnant, okay? So that's the time when uh, the risk is very high of pregnancy. So your body temperature, you can actually 
uh, just notice that there'll be a drop uh, just before just before ovulation so the drop is not very substantial so it's maybe one degree celsius so from your normal body temperature so it also requires a great deal of investment in terms of um, uh, just monitoring what will be happening to, to your body okay uh, a woman just monitoring everything so uh, the one degree celsius drop it's uh, it's not very substantial but then it, it's actually workable so there are people who do this and in the, in the morning they just take their temperature and then they put on a log and then they will see that there is no drop but then just before ovulation they'll be able to tell the last method did so it's actually quite common so you can uh, actually write this one it's still fine anyone would do is the withdrawal method so withdrawal method is uh when uh two adults are having sexual intercourse and the male is about to ejaculate so there's something called orgasm just before before that the male can actually tell and then they would have to withdraw because the risk of pregnancy it's in um uh it's it's when the the sperm is released into the into the um into the vagina okay so you want to avoid that so that, that's that's what you would use you'd use our withdrawal method okay so the disadvantage with this method is that sometimes there is also something called premature ejaculation so again a, a male can actually ejaculate with without really knowing it or without really expecting it okay so you can uh ejaculate prematurely and uh, also withdrawing can be a bit tricky so maybe uh, the male can can be a, a bit um, late in doing so and then ends up like you know some sperm will, will spew in, in in there and then there is uh, a high risk of, of pregnancy in the in that case and the B part says uh, describe how the pill prevents our pregnancy so this is a, a very commonly uh, tested question okay so uh, the pews they are usually taken orally so you have to uh, a woman would take them uh, and then are uh, they the pews that they have hormones in them so they studied what they studied was um with rabbits so uh, they uh, rib rabbits that um, like if uh, some rabbits were pregnant you'd actually take the hormones there and then uh, inject them into a preg uh, rabbits that are not uh, pregnant and then what they realized was that uh, the the body system of the rabbits that were not pregnant would assume that the rabbits were actually pregnant and thereby preventing pregnancy okay so it would assume that the body's system is not ready for for pregnancy so they repurposed this for for humans and uh, uh the pews they actually do suppress ovulation just by tricking the the body system okay and uh, it's it's quite uh, safe to do this because there was some concern that uh, it might not be safe uh, to to do this, but then they, they, it's actually quite safe, and the hormones they, they also thicken the the mucus, so they, they there's some mucus uh, in the path, so the the path would be the uh, going into the into the the vaginal canal really, so there would be uh, some um, some mucus in there, and then the mucus now it would thicken as a result of of these pews, uh, and then when they thicken now they actually block the path of the sperm, the sperm would not be able to proceed. To the to the fallopian tube and uh, the other parts where pregnancy uh, would occur. Okay, so it would block the, the part of the sperm, and then all these obviously it uh, minimizes the risk of, of pregnancy. Okay, so uh, these two are they are they are uh, some of the the big points to to point to, and then yeah, that's just about it for the B part, and then for the C part, you asked to state any uh, two signs and symptoms of uh, congruent in males. So what I did was that I, I identified the, the most common ones. So the most common ones is uh, pain during sexual intercourse. It's actually quite common for anyone suffering from uh, an STI. Okay, so whenever you're asked to um, identify the symptoms for, for an STI, and then you're not really sure, include this one. Okay, so pain during sexual intercourse or during urina urinating, it's, it's one of the uh, most reliable uh, tail tails of uh, of um, uh, NSTI, okay, and then there's also swole, uh, swelling in the in the groin. The groin simply means the the region where the where the male uh, parts are, the same male sex parts are. So there will be some swelling there. So if there will be some swelling, so some swelling, there is actually a chance that it could be congruent. And also there is um a swollen lymph nodes. This one it's more general as well. If um you have an infection, sometimes your lymph nodes they they swell. 
and you find uh, lymph, lymph nodes on uh, several pressure parts. So some of them you actually find them uh, in the region around your neck. This is something that you need to know because if you, are, you have some infection, they, you can tell from your, your lymph nodes. And uh, yeah, that's just about it for uh, this part. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. We'll discuss our uh, question. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You go out.